Hey friends, thanks for joining me for another video. Um, today we're doing a get ready with me and it's already kind of late, it's close to noon and I should have long been ready by now. So we're gonna jump right into it. Um, yeah guys, I have to um, run a couple errands and I have a chiropractor, my first chiropractor appointment later, which I already told you guys about. Okay guys, I'm gonna start off by putting on this um, milk, I'm sure it's a dupe, lip oil. Uh, that I recently hauled from Timu. Let's see, does it have any sparkle in it? Mm. No, I don't think it has too much sparkle in it. That's just a pretty all around lip oil, just a pretty clear lip oil. Okay, uh, the first thing we're gonna do, um, as always, I've got my brows on, uh, a coat of mascara, of thickening mascara, and my eye primer, my shadow primer. Um, and I'm using my um, P. Louise dupe today from Timu. It, it is a really good eye primer. I mean, it keeps your eyeshadow looking good for hours. Okay, guys, as always, I'm going to start with my eyes because I make such a mess and then I have to clean it up before I do the rest of my face. And today, I'm going to use this Mercury Retrograde dupe palette. Um, it's by that brand Kibest. This came from Timu a while back. I can't, this is one of the first hauls I did. I think I got this. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take, oh, I don't really have just a, I'll tell you what. First, I'm going to take a little powder, just a little setting powder and just go over my eyes real quick. Make sure they're set down. My primer is set down. Y'all, this, um, I hold this from Timu too. This is an obvious NARS dupe and uh, by the brand Mayfic. And so they just use Fick, the end of their name on the compact. But anyway, yeah, I'm enjoying this powder. It's translucent. It has no sparkle, no nothing. It has no coverage. It's just strictly a setting powder. And I'm really enjoying it. I recommend that one. Uh, in fact, this, I might order a pack up of that. And I'm trying to get out of the ordering backups business. But, um, yeah, that's just really pretty. Okay, y'all, I'm going to take this old um, MAC 217 brush that I got, I don't know, ages ago on, um, on, on the clearance page on C Sephora. This was um, some collab, and then they clearanced it out, and then, you know, all right, I'm gonna start with this lighter sort of orangey shade and just get something started in the crease here. This is one of the nicest palettes I've ever gotten from Timu. I have used it quite a bit, y'all. It's really pretty good. It's pigmented. It blends well. Guys, it started off pouring rain this morning, and I hated it because um because I've got plans today. All right, guys. Um, let's see what I want to do. Ooh, what I want to do. I should have thought about this. All right, let me go in with this matte. Oh, shoot, my mirror's in the way. Let me go in with this matte purplish color right there. Sorry, mom. Mirror's in the way. Now, is that really going to show up? Is that showing up? Yeah, it's showing up. Okay, I'm going to put this right here in the corners. Yeah, now that's showing up as a true purple. It's like a true lavender. It's not turning pink, pink yet. Most, you know, we've talked about that before, how most, um, Less expensive brands, they their purples tend to turn pink because it's very expensive to produce like a true purple pigment. Like that shade of purple would be very hard to um, produce in a matte. Okay, let me go in with, um, let me try a little bit of this green. I, I'm just, here I am going to a new doctor and I'm probably gonna freak him out with my makeup. <laughs> oh well. Blend this in, get like a gradient going here, like a purple and um, teal. This is sort of like a teal green. Make sure it's picking up over here. 
I'm kind of liking that. Okay, now, uh, let's see. What am I going to dip into? Oh, let me swatch a couple of these out real quick and see what they look like. These shimmers. All right, that's a Oh, I like that one. Okay, this is kind of a shifty white. It's kind of got some purple and pink in it. It's sort of a shifty shimmer. Right here, you can probably see it in my lights, how shifty it is. That's pretty. And um, I've got my Milani Make It Last here. I, oh, there's my little Mercery, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use this one. And I'm gonna I'll take this itty bitty brush and I'm going to dip into this shifty shimmer. Is it laying down much? Let's see here, let me go back in. I might have to add in a little bit of that pink up there. Let me just spray this. Let me see if I add in a little bit of pink helps. Yes! Now we're getting somewhere. Okay. So I'm using a little bit of that pink up in the corner. Let's see. Okay. Oh, I like that. That's pretty. See how we have kind of a gradient going? Now, I'm going to wipe this off. This little inner corner brush I was using. I've got paper towels here. Okay, and then I'm going to take my big brush again. I'm going to wipe it off best I can. Make sure nothing's in it. We want it kind of clean. And then I'm just going to kind of brush over the top and get it kind of a blend going. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I'm already hot. It's not supposed to be super hot today, but Y'all know me, so hot natured. I think that's one of the parts of getting old that we don't like. So all these, you know, getting hot, sweating. Y'all, I'm not having a good brow day at all. I think I'm gonna have to work with them a little bit when I'm done here. But yeah, so we got that going. Okay. Now guys, I'm gonna take this, um, this is a ColourPop cream gel liner. And the shade, what color is it? It's sort of a, it's called Power Trip. It's a multi-chrome. Let me, let me show you. See how shifty that is? And I'm going to take that. Up in here. Y'all, I have never been a fan of lowering, of lowering, uh, lining my lower lash line. I like to put my liners in the top. And of course, probably a little bit, bit of it is going to um, travel down in the bottom line. But I just don't like to do the bottom line initially. I like most of it to be in the top. Go back over here just a little bit more. Make sure we're fully filled in. I don't know. I feel like as I'm getting older, if I put a lot of product on the underneath my eye, it just like sort of floats down and just makes me look like like I have under eye shadows. I, I can't explain it, but um, yeah, I feel like it just makes me look older. Okay. Well, I didn't make a huge, 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 huge mess, but I do. Wow. I don't know what that was, but I do have some sparkle on the face. All right, let me um take my makeup wipe over here. I think I got one left in this little container from Dollar Tree. Yep, one left. Trash can open. Okay, um, and I'm just gonna kind of go below the eyes and just clean up a smidge. There we are. But yeah, I think I'm gonna have to doctor on my brows a little. 
I think I was in a little bit too much of a hurry. And y'all, somebody in my comments left me, um, told me to stop bringing my brows down so far. And y'all, if you give me construct constructive criticism in a nice way, it's not going to bother me. I mean, if you legit tell me something that could help my look, I'd appreciate it. I mean, but just don't be mean about it. But anyway, um, so I did some plucking because my natural hairs go down so far that in order for me not to bring them down, I've got to, yeah, I had to just get rid of some hair. So I plucked them and I tried to get them about even. Is this better to where they're not so far down? I, that probably was pulling my face down um, without me even realizing it. Okay, guys, let me blow my nose real quick. It's trying to run. Let me get off camera here. Okay. My nose was trying to run bigly. Mm. Okay. All right. I'm going to take my usual. Well, first of all, I'm going to go in with this waterproof. That that's This is the one from Timu I've been using for a little bit. And I'm just going to try to, you know. Go over them, make sure nothing smears around, make sure everything stays in place. Guys, when I was younger, I used to, um, like all the way through my 20s and 30s, I would always um, do liquid liner on the upper lash line. And then again, as I got older, I started feeling like, you know, my lids are getting more hooded. You know how our, we just don't look the same as we age. Everything starts going south. So, um, I stopped doing that too. Okay, I want this to dry a little bit before I go in with too much. All right, so this uh, Kibas, which is the same brand that did this palette, um, did this dupe of the Urban Decay Quickie Concealer, which a lot of people use as a foundation, but it hardly has any coverage. So I've got too much to, that, to do today to use this as a foundation. I just don't think it would last. Let me get some of this stuff off of me. Where I've done some swatching. I think it's going all over the place. Yeah, I've even got eyeliner on this hand. And y'all, these temporary tattoos are really sticking around. I think this is the longest I've ever had them last. Yeah, I dug out some that I had ordered from Timu a while back, and I started playing with them since I can't have any real ones. And I like them. I like tattoos on my wrist, but yeah, these aren't real, guys. In case you're new, thank you for joining me. And always, as always, thank you for all of you that come back and put up with my lunacy. Okay, so now I'm going to use this... Um, Foundation that I've been enjoying, as you can see, I'm putting a hurting on it. Um, this ML Smile, it's that um, Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation dupe. All right, so I've got, where did I put my wet sponge? Oh, you know what, guys? I think I'm going to go in with one of these that I just hauled from Timu. Um, they're the Rare Beauty dupes, and they look exactly the same. They're definitely not as high quality, but they look exactly the same. All right, I'm gonna put the lid back on this and start getting this foundation going. And yes, I like to put, God, this foundation smells good. I think I've mentioned that before. It smells so good. Mmm. But yeah, I start off by putting it on my nose. Because um, my nose tends to be runny because I've got so many stupid allergies and I uh, tend to like, you know, dab it with a Kleenex or a tissue or something. I'm always taking something and dabbing it. I think I, th I, think I need a smidge more of this. Yeah, I'm always taking something and dabbing it. So um, I need extra coverage on my nose if I can get it. Oh, and y'all, also, this um zit that's been on my lip line for like weeks now that I've been talking about and fighting with, last night I took a needle, of course I sanitized it with a lighter, but um I went to stabbing that zit on my lip line 
I mean, I stabbed it from every direction. I I was just hitting it right and left. I was just attacking my face. And uh, I can't get over how good this foundation smells. And it's a smell I can't really describe. It's just a nice, pleasant fragrance. Sorry guys, I, I'm just very thorough about my foundation, getting it in there good. And then what I'm gonna do, once I finish with my concealer, is go in um, with my sponge and some setting spray and set it all down so we can make sure it stays because I have several hours of running to do this afternoon. Okay, guys, um, I had gotten out my, my little Candy Moyo concealer. I've been enjoying that one from Dollar Tree. That's actually not a terrible little concealer. I don't know what I did with it. But I've also got this one here that I hauled from Timu a while back. And as you can see, I've been using it too. And um, it, it's an obvious from the packaging, a NARS dupe. But I really like the color. Wobster, what you doing, little boy? What's my little precious doing? I think I may have gone too heavy on the foundation, but I guess it's better than not having enough. I don't know. All right, let me put this back in this bag. Uh, all right, now I'm going to get the foundation, I mean the concealer version of that brush. Where'd it go? There was a little concealer. Here it is. Here's the concealer brush from Timu that looks just like the Rare Beauty one. Just spread out good. I meant to use that Cubess one that I, that I sat there talking about, and I talked about it for no reason because I ended up using this other one. But I will definitely try that again another day, not as a foundation, but as a concealer. That Urban Decay dupe. These aren't bad little brushes. All right, guys, um, while I'm waiting for that to kind of dry down, I'm going to go in with this really dark. I recently hauled this from Dollar Tree. In fact, I think it was in maybe one of my last haul. I finally found the dark, darker shade of the, uh, the little elf, Charlotte Tilbury, whatever you want to call it, dupe. And I was hoping it would work better with, you know, its contour or bronzer. Just put a tiny dot. Tiny dot, dot. Did I put them on even? We'll see. Okay. Get the lid back on the thing. These are so messy. These kind of this kind of packaging is so messy. Sometimes I wish Charlotte uh, would have come up with a better plan <laughs> for her. Y'all, all right, I'm gonna take this little brush here. I'm gonna come up with a better plan. I'm gonna try to sort of brush this up. I think I placed it too low, but yeah, we're getting her spread out. All right. blended in here. We're getting her blended. So I hope you guys are having a great week. I hope you got all your grocery shopping done for Thanksgiving. That's one reason why I wanted to go to um, do, um Wal Walmart and try to do, let me get my wet sponge and um, or damp rather, it's just very damp. Okay. Um, here's my Milani. I'm going to go on the fat end here of this and just hit it. This is some good setting spray, y'all. If you can't afford high-end setting spray, this Milani Make It Last 
Milani is just a good line. Let's get everything blended in. And sit down. It's yeah, looking pretty good. I don't know about these eyes. Mm. I need to try some more of that liquid, um, liquid, um, what was I trying to say? I don't know what I was trying to say, but I'm going to go in with this Be Pure from Dollar Tree blush in Party Pink. So far, that's the only shade I've seen in it. Just going to make a little line on each side. Not go too strong because that is a serious pink. A serious pink. All right, I'm going to take this on um, that I had some... That was using a blend bronzer. That's not so bad blended out. I think all liquid brushes look a little, blushes look a little scary at first, but they're not so bad if you just go in with a light hand and get them spread out. Okay, now I want to take, this is such a tiny little pan on here, but I want to take this, what's this color? This is Dusty Rose and the little bitty Ioni blushes. Lord, these are tiny. They're about the size of my thumb. They're literally so small. Um, let's see here. I'm going to see if I can get in here with this, squeeze this brush a little bit and see if I can get down in here. Cause I'm gonna use this to as a topper. Woo! I definitely got some. That's actually a pretty color. Yeah, y'all, I'm blush blind. The more, the better. But I am going to go back over just a smidge with my sponge. But, yeah, I'm so glad it was, um, the rain got on out of here, and it turned out to be a pretty day. Okay, guys, next... I had mentioned this before because I wanted to try this darker um, gloss. It's very pigmented from Beauty Intuition at Dollar Tree. And so I want to go in with a very light lip liner. And this is the Too Faced Lip Injection in the shade, Lord, it's a mess, in the shade Post Op Pink. That's better. And it's just, it's a click up. And it's an extremely light color. I guess when you wake up from surgery, you are pretty pale. See how it barely shows up? But yeah, I was massively stabbing this um, thing to death and it was gushing blood, this is it. And uh, so it may have scabbed and I'm hoping that finally, um, once this scab falls off, if I leave it alone, uh, this is a very creamy lip liner. Uh, hopefully I can just, Finally be done with that zit. Hope, hopefully, once the scab falls off, that's it. What's that? 
I don't know what that was. Oh, I think that was part of that scab coming off a little piece of it. Okay, so we got on this really fa fair color. All right, let me, um, y'all, I've got this other, like, boba milk tea lip gloss by Be Pure. But first, let's go in with this. I'm just thinking this might be so pigmented. Uh-uh. I was just thinking it might be so pigmented we might have to calm it down, but I think it's going really well with this lip liner. I'm changing, telling y'all, your lip liner that you use under your lip product can make all the difference. Not to mention the fact that it helps it to stay a little longer. And I can feel this lip liner burning. Anything on a Too Faced product that says lip injection is gonna burn. I don't know, do my lips look any bigger? I think the combo's really pretty though. This post-op pink and this, where did I just throw it? And this Beauty Twi Intuition Gloss. Mmm, I kinda like that. Y'all, make, makeup makes me so happy. I'm, I'm just an easy to please person. <laughs> Because makeup just makes me happy. All right, let me just um take my, my Milani, hit my sponge one more time, just do once more, one more once over, and then we're gonna go in with a little powder. Because once we put on powder, that's the real deal. We're done. Y'all, do y'all remember, um, she's had a lot of drama, but the, this OG, um, beauty guru on YouTube named Jacqueline Hill, she'd, um, she's done a bunch of different collabs. She came out with her own makeup line and it was just kind of a disaster. I don't know. She had these lipsticks that arrived to people with hairs in them. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm wearing my hair up today since I'm going to the chiropractor. It's just going to stay in this bun. It's a good tight one with a clip in the back, so it won't go. But I am going to try to do something with these bangs. Try to get them doing something. But, uh, what was the point I was going to say? Oh, yeah, I learned from Jacqueline Hill years ago. Um, when I watched her videos really early on before she really blew up and then got to be kind of a not super nice person. But, anyhow, um... That's one thing she would always say. She had worked at the Mac counter, and when she first started her channel, she was still at a Mac counter. And then once her channel blew up and she was making lots of money, she quit um, the Mac. But, yeah, she said that uh, once you go in with a powder on your face, you're done. So, you, you, you should not go in with any more liquids. All right, here is a powder puff. I'm just going to go underneath my eyes with this Nora's dupe from, um, yeah. All right, now I'm just gonna go all over my face with it with a brush. But yeah, I like this finished look, y'all. I will be happy to run around and do my errands and go to the doctor wearing this look. I absolutely love it. Another success with bargain makeup, guys. I'm always telling you, once you learn your face and how to make up your particular face and what looks best on your particular um, features, yeah. You can use, it's just a matter of skill and learning your face. And then once you do that, you can go in with inexpensive makeup and get amazing looks. So, yeah. So, I just love to, love to play with makeup of all price ranges. I'm not a makeup snob at all. I love it all. All right, guys. I'm not going to keep you. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, oh, I know what I was going to say earlier. I'm glad I'm doing some uh, a few business things at Dollar, uh, Walmart today because tomorrow, Thanksgiving Eve, it's going to be... 
wild and they are everybody trying to get their last minute ingredients and everything they need for dinner but i hope if i don't see you before thanksgiving i hope you guys have a fabulous day with family and friends and i'll see you in the next one bye